Welcome to episode two on location. Here's Ahmed. What's up? Ahmed Best here. StarWars.com. Episode two. Gavin Bouquet. Here we are. Introduce yourself, even though I just did. Gavin Bouquet. Gavin Bouquet. Tell everybody what you do, Gavin. Uh, production designer on Star Wars Episode 2. He is the production designer. He is the man. The man here at Star Wars. Many. One of many. How is it working on Episode 2? Uh, it's uh, very interesting the first week. It's a bit like going back to school and uh, all the same people are there in the second year. It's really? Strange. How is that? Are you having fun? Having great fun. First week's always a bit mad. Um, but we're just about on top of things. What's the comparison between Episode 1 and Episode 2? Um, we were led to believe at one point that it was going to be a slightly smaller film. Right. Um, from our point of view, it certainly isn't smaller. Uh, we've probably got about 25% uh, more things to do, more sets, more environments, more locations. And the, the speed of the schedule is even faster than it was on Phantom. So the, the, the look of the film is just going to be mind-blowing, just because of the variety of things we're going to see. Can you explain to everybody on the web what you physically do, you personally? Wow, that's a difficult one. In theory, along with Doug Chang and the concept group, anything behind the actors or in front of the actors, whether it's location or sets or a mixture of location and sets, we have to somehow produce solutions for George to shoot. So anything that you see around the actors is usually to do with us. Um, and on this film, it's very much a, a mix between Doug and the concept group and us and the art department. So, or the physical art department here of building the sets, designing the sets, finding the locations, making the locations work, choosing what we build on location, what we don't, what we do here, sorting out the schedules, the budgets, the, the dressing, the set decorating, the props. And I say on a film like this, it's 30 or 40 people under one or two people working at the top end, but it's a lot of people putting creative input in, not just myself, not just uh, Doug, not just Peter Walpole, a lot, a lot of people, and I think we generally like to use as many creative people as we can for that, whether it's the juniors in the art department, everybody's got something to give, we, you know, you're trying to create five universes, and to get that to come out of one person's head or two people, it would sort of be quite arrogant to think you could, so you really want to gather as many creative people around you as you can, and, and try and coordinate all that, all that movement of creativity. Amazing. Gavin Bouquet, very busy man. We know you are. We know you got to go. We will see you again. We will talk to you again. Thank you very much, Gav. <laughs> you will see it on the web. You will see it on the web. Gavin Bouquet, nobody else on the web can give you Gavin Bouquet, production designer. Nobody else on the web can give you insight into what goes on the Star Wars universe. Nobody else on the web can give you up-to-date, exclusive interviews with the people, with the men, except for StarWars.com, except for me, except for you. Episode 2, www.StarWars.com. Stay tuned.